If he hadn't been for Ball Hill, Soho would never have existed. Yeah, yeah. There was a cafe across the road called St Margaret's Cafe. Yes, I remember that. Uh, run by the Rogans. Yeah. And we all used to, all the bands, Coventry bands, used to meet in there at up, anything up till five in the morning for supper or what it was after you'd played, wherever you'd played. And I met Pip in there. I was working with a band called Johnny and the Rebels then. And he, he, I said to him, what's the matter? He said, oh, I'm really fed up with it. He said, playing all this cover stuff. And I said, I'm fed up with it as well. And he said, well, why don't we get our heads together and put a band together our own? He said, I know a bass player. So he fetched Phil Packham in. And then, vampire, exactly, and mm. somebody else knew a drum, which was Bruce Finley. <coughs> Where did he come from? Scotland. Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> he got on the wrong bus, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how, that's how the Sorrows came about. Oh, right. Yeah. So, uh, just up the road there. Yeah, that's right. the street for me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I know a lot of guys um, talk oh, about St. Margaret's Cafe. And brilliant. It was very much a place to be. Uh, and of course, those guys from the... Uh, the Avengers would have gone there as well. Oh, we were all in there. Everybody, 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 everybody went there. I was with Johnny then, and we all, we all went there. Everybody did, didn't they? Yeah. That's how you got to know. That's where you knew where the next boat you wanted your replacements came from, didn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>